Hi, I'm good. Hi, I'm good. Siobhan. Siobhan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. from how long you live to your health to uh, your ability to live in a safe in, uh, environment that we just want to focus on helping people to build wealth. Mm -hmm. So the way we do that is first through the education about what wealth is, how the major wealth driver in the United States operates. That is what we call the capital markets. The more common name is the stock market. And we want to teach about that. So we have a program called the uh, Summer Stock Market Experience. And it's offered in the summertime where young people uh, can learn about how the stock market works and be on a platform where it's just like a brokerage firm, where you learn how to uh, just buy a share of stock. And one of our sayings is we want people to know how to buy Nike stock just as easily as they know how to buy Nike shoes. Real quick, mm -hmm. two questions. Yep. What's the age group and how do you find a new life? So that's a very relevant question because this will be our fourth summer doing this. We started out focusing just on youth, pretty much uh, middle and high school. This year we're going to have a full throttle adult division mm -hmm. along with a youth division. That's so good. it's going to be a very clear uh, dividing line. Under 18 is our youth division, and you can go as young as you want, but most people will be middle and high school. Then we're going to have an adult division that can go from 18 up to 88 or even beyond that. So that's what I'm going to hopefully talk with you and let's work about in terms of helping us to market and promote participation in the adult division. But if you can help us with the youth division as well, especially youth that normally would not get this exposure. That's what we want to uh, try to connect with. So it's mostly virtual, and uh, that way it's very, very accessible. It's no cost involved, but it is a very definitive time period from mid-June until early August. It's eight weeks total. Everybody gets a fictitious $100,000. And then each individual gets to manage that by buying and selling stock over the eight week period. And then we have Tuesday sessions uh, at 4.30 Central Time uh, on Zoom, where we'll have experts just to talk a little bit about what is the stock, how does the capital markets work, a little bit about mutual funds. Uh, the most important concept that young people need to know about is compounding, because that's, you know, we always say we are not at all about get rich quick. But we are about get rich slowly. Okay. And so the power of compounding is what we focus on. That's the first phase of what we do. The second is we actually help people start investing for real through investment clubs. I've been involved with investment clubs for over 35 years. And we're now taking that model into non-traditional communities and locations, working with people of color. Uh, we are even changing the uh, narrative about them, and we are referring, them, uh, referring to them as community-based investment enterprises. We want people to know, just as we were talking before, that you really want to focus on for-profit businesses. And our community-based investment enterprises are for-profit businesses. But they're single purpose, just for investing in the stock market. We want to train people on how to find those companies that have the potential to go up. And uh, like I say, they don't go up overnight, but they normally, if you find the right companies that are profitable and growing their profits, they will grow over time. One of the most important mantras, if you're going to be an investor, 
is that your sales, like think of Walmart, your sales will drive your earnings. Your earnings are your profits. Profits drive the stock market. Simple as that. If you're scouting for a great basketball player, you want somebody who can jump in, have accurate three-point shots, etc. You know how to draft that player on the court. Well, we know how to draft stocks. Like, why this? As important as I believe it is, but like for people that don't know about you know like finances and investing, like why is this part of the culture? Because it seems like it's black driven. Mm -hmm. Why is this important to you and just in general? Mm -hmm. No, uh, several reasons. One is I learned about it too, not too late, but I didn't learn about it as soon as I could. I come from a different nonprofit that focuses on the mainstream and suburban culture, and that's called Better Investing. They're wonderful people, they just don't go deep into the communities of color. And through that, we learned that if you are really looking at a good uh, success in the stock market, you should be able to double your money every five years. So imagine the difference of someone like me who didn't learn about it until I was 30. If I had learned about it or my parents had gotten me started when I was one year old or five years old, you will have four more doubles of your money. Mm -hmm. It's all about when you get close to my age. Let's say I'm 65. Well, maybe I've got two more doubles in me. So if I've got just $100,000, then in, by 70, I have 200. By 75, I have 400. But imagine if we have a million dollars by the time we're 65, that next double, you got two million. And then that next double, you got four million. You have more for yourself, you have more for your intergenerational uh, legacy or your children that you're leaving behind. That's what we have not been doing, is understanding the intergenerationality of the race. We talk about it, but you absolutely have to do it. You have to have the three avenues of building wealth. They, uh, you can remember them by the new bling, B-L-I-N-G, owning businesses, owning land, owning investments. Those are the three that build your net worth. That's what culturally we are not focused on, is rather than income, build your wealth. Your wealth is not measured by income, it's measured by net worth. And the GE and Blaine is for graduation. So we do promote uh, education. Alright, so how can you help somebody who's watching this here is okay with you, connect with you? Sure. So uh, Climb, C L I M D, is easy to remember and um, it's just Climb USA. So C L I M D, ClimbUSA.org. You'll find uh, the programs that I've just talked about. And right now, the main one we're focusing on is the stock market experience. We're going to have a uh, open house, a virtual open house on August the 4th. A second one, that's on a Tuesday, I believe. We're going to do a second one on a Sunday, where you can just tune in and, and hear more about it. You can register so you'll get the Zoom link uh, on that website. And then uh, we're going to have more information and training to get people ready who are going to teach the young people on that platform. We're going to have some orientation sessions in May, and then the actual competition starts in uh, June. We're working with. So the problem is we don't have a large movement, so that's where you guys can come in to help us get the word out, get more people onto the track. That's a fact. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe we got a lot of things in play that can help that work too, especially working with Udo, Terra. Who was that drive party you said you have some people drive players, y'all drive? We, we draft stocks. Draft yeah, stocks. we look, and it's the same analysis process. As a matter of fact, um, at the Urban League, uh, about five, six years ago, I've never done that Madden draft, you know, where everybody gets together before the game. So one of my young friends invited me to come along and kind of sit around this table and they were doing their drafting. And I just looked at them and said, you know, this is exactly how we draft stocks. We do the same thing. We just have different metrics. We're looking at the sales of the company, we're looking at the profits of the company. We're looking at the management of the company, their pre-tax profits. We have our metrics. It's only about five or six that are really key. Some people, just like in uh, analyzing sports, they'll go deeper, deeper. They'll think about different things. Uh, stock analysts do the exact same thing. But in essence, it boils down to just two or three metrics. And once you learn it, 
it's not rocket science. There are some people that say the intention is that everybody don't, doesn't learn this. Because if you do, everybody would do less work. Because uh, it's, it, it's a different way to live. But uh, they don't teach that. So what, what we are really aiming toward are these investment enterprises that groups will have, especially families, so that they can grow that wealth. Our family uh, does have close to $200,000 an hour now. We've been growing it since uh, the year 2000. And our youngest now is only five months old, and he has uh, over $1,000. So imagine the double that he's in for right now. And, and the um, second nature of like education. Yeah. Like, by the time he's 25, people will consider him a genius. That's right. But it's really exposure. It's, that's exactly you know right, saying? yeah. That's what I really try to hone in on, because it's like, I don't believe in genius. Right. You know that's a good point. I, right. I believe mm -hmm. in early exposure, and mm -hmm. that's what breeds today's version of the genius. Yeah. All financial literacy is important. I normally say that financial literacy is comprised of five pillars. Credit, personal finance, in which is included budgeting and uh, saving, investing, entrepreneurship, and basic economics. And what I've found is that many people, and even policymakers, want us to rush into things like buying homes, starting businesses, but the groundwork has not been laid very solidly. And we're getting into those situations without actually building our own personal seed capital. And that's what we want to emphasize, is people first focusing on investing, just beginning to build very small amounts of um, capital for themselves through the capital markets, and that is the uh, stock market. And then uh, once they reach adulthood, have some seed capital for that down payment. I'm the king, I'm the queen, so make sure he keeps his crown.